Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make realistic smoke by using just a few filters. There are many ways to do this, however, I found that the way shown in this tutorial is relatively quick and effective. Click on the brush tool and make sure white is your foreground color. The opacity should be about 50%. In your brush presets, check Shape Dynamics and Airbrush and Smoothing. I'm using a 40 pixel brush. We'll create a new layer by clicking on the New Layer button and we'll retitle this Smoke. Start brushing in wavy lines. I've found that using a few different size brushes that overlap each other work very well. I'm using a different combination of brush strokes that I did earlier. You may have to try it a few times before you find the right combination. It looks terrible now, but in the end it'll look like the smoke image you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. Press Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac to bring up the transform and press on the warp tool. Click on areas of the warp transform and move them around until it forms the shape of the smoke that you like. Press enter or return to accept it. Go to filter, other, maximum. It'll immediately start looking more like smoke. I chose 12 pixels in the maximum window, but you may find a different amount better suited for your brush strokes. I want to bring the smoke more into the bottom area of the coffee, so I'll call up transform again and click on the warp transform button. I'll just pull on the two points at the bottom. We're going to add some filters to the smoke. To allow us to make changes of the filters that we're going to add, we must first instruct the smoke layer to accept smart filters. To do this, go to filter and then convert for smart filters. This window will pop up telling us that the layer will become a smart object, so just press OK. We're going to soften up the smoke and add some atmosphere. Go to Filter, Blur, and Surface Blur. The Surface Blur window will open. I'm using a radius of 85 and a threshold of 81. Go to the Layers panel and click on the New Layer button. Click on the Smoke layer while pressing Control or Command. This will bring up its selection. Then click on the new layer to activate it. Go to Filter, Render, and then Clouds. We'll retitle this layer Smoke Overlay and change the mode from Normal to Overlay. We're going to change the shape of the smoke a bit, so we're going to call up the Transform by clicking Control T or Command T and then click on the Warp Transform button. So just manipulate the warp transform to give our smoke a shape we like. And for finishing touches, you can always add, remove, or change the filters until you're happy with the result. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.